sample problem 2. A 7 meter span simply supported beam is subjected by a uniformly factor load of 48 kilonewtons per meter. And then actual compressive factored force at its cross section of 70 kilonewtons. The compressive strength of the concrete, that is 21 megapascal, steel yield strength, Fy equals 415. The specified yield strength for steel ups, that is the Fyt, 275 megapascal. So given yung mga dimensions ng B, then use NCP 2010. So the problem could calculate the nominal shear strength provided by the concrete using simplified calculation. Then number two, calculate the required shear strength for shear reinforcement. And number three, calculate the required spacing of shear reinforcement using U stirrups and 10 mm diameter at the critical portion. Okay. For part 1, the nominal shear strength capacity ng concrete yung inahanap. Ayan. In this, in this section of the NCP, for members subject to actual compression. So, ito yung orientation ng beam natin. No? That is simply supported with a 7 meter span acted by a factored load that is 48 kilonewtons uniformly factored load and actual compression at the cross section of the beam. No? In, in this section, the code uh, have the formula of the VC. So we have the additional factor dito. Siyempre, mas lalakas yung shear reinforcement pag na-compress to. Mas mahirap i-shear yung beam pag merong compre compressive force acting to that. Okay? So, ito yung section ng beam. Rectangular siya. So, binigay ito lahat. Okay? Now, before computing this, we must define AG in this formula, AG. AG is the gross section, gross area of the section of the beam. So, the gross area, that is um, total area of the concrete, BW times H. So, ito yun. Now, uh, substituting all the values, okay, just follow that. VC is equals to 96.95 kilonewtons. Okay. For part 2, hinahanap is the required shear strength capacity ng um, shear reinforcement. So, required shear strength capacity. So, ang basis natin dito, dapat is um, yung VS natin, hahanapin natin um, to ka, uh, kung ano yung VS na magka-counteract dapat sa VU or sa required shear strength. Okay? We know this. Huh? VU must be lesser or equal to the design shear strength. VN. VBN. Okay? Now, we know that VN is VC plus BS. Okay? So, we must compute first VU in order to get the VS or the required shear strength of the um, stirrups and shear reinforcement. So, we must get first the reaction. So, ito yun, reaction na sa beam. Since that is symmetrical, and that is W times length divided by 2. Yeah. Now, to get the VU, we must draw the shear diagram. Okay. The shear diagram that is simply loaded, ito yung magiging itsura. Okay. So, saan yung VU dito? So, VU will be taken as a D distance from the face of the support. This is the phase of the support that will be taken as the D distance. So, ito yung VU natin. Again, um, take note of this now. Um, the critical section of the beam will be at a D distance as long as walang concentrated load within the span D. Okay? Take note of that. If we have a concentrated load in this span, our critical section will be at the phase of the support. So, we will take VU dot uh, here as the reaction, okay, as long as 
meron concentrated load within this pandi. But for this problem, wala concentrated load dyan. So, we'll take VU at a D distance. Okay? Now, in this figure, we can say that the VU is equal to R minus WU times DD. Effective that D. Ito yan. Magkukuha natin yung VU dyan. Okay? So, that is 168 minus 48. Ito yung WU times effective depth. So, effective depth natin, that is 480 millimeters. So, consistent lang sa unit, gawin natin meters. Okay? Kaya naging 0.48 yan. So, VU is 144.96 kN. Okay? Now, following this equation here, ito yun. Uh, before that, no? I-check muna natin yung VBC. If needed ba talaga yung stirrups. Okay? So, VBC is equal to 72.71 kN. Okay? Now, VU is 144.96. So, that is greater than VBC. So, the stirrups is needed or necessary. Now, following this equation, substituting all the values to yung Vs. Okay. So, rearranging that, Vs is greater or equal to 96.33 kN. Okay. I hope you get this. Now, for part 3, nahanap is the spacing of the syrups. Okay. First, we know that Vs is this equation. So, the spacing yung inahanap. So, given na ito lahat, makuha natin spacing. But, in design, we must consider this. 0.66 FC prime BWD. So, we can get this equation. This is the criteria to check if the dimension of the concrete given is applicable. Okay, ganito yan. When, when Vs is greater to this value, the section is okay. Okay. When Vs is lesser to this value, I mean, the section is okay. So, dito sa ito as, the section is not okay. Okay. If this scenario will come up, so, we must redesign the section of the beam. Again, pala, either palakihin yung BW or ang total depth. Okay. In this case, the section of the beam is okay. So, bakit ba may limitation yung Vs natin? So, okay, ito yung limitation ng Vs. Because, uh, look at this formula. Um, Vs is inversely proportional to the spacing. Now, if walang limitation yung Vs, so, kunwari naging sobrang laki niyan, so, wala na tayong spacing na makukuha. Okay? Kaya, nilagyan ng code na limitation yung Vs. Okay. Now, we know that Vs is 96.33. No? We solved that uh, from part 2. But this um, section, I mean this formula, uh, that is 362.94. So we can say that Vs is lesser to this value. So nagfall siya dito sa criteria, meaning the section is okay. Now, after checking that, we can... Uh, you can use this equation above na to check the value of spacing. Now, we know that Vs is greater or equals to this value. But we know Vs is that formula. We will substitute this Vs here to that equation. So, ito yung nangyari. Times 10 raised to 3 para maging newtons. Uh, cross multiplying that. Then substituting all the values. So AV is pi over 4 times 10 squared times 2. FYT times effective depth. Now we can get the value of spacing here. Okay. Ito na ba yung magiging answer natin? Hindi pa. Pero pa ang isang criteria na iku-consider. So, 0.33 squared of FC prime BWD. So check this value muna. So, what, for what is this criteria? Itong criteria na to is for the maximum spacing allowed by the code. 
So, iti-check natin yung maximum spacing based on that criteria. So, when Vs is greater to this value, the maximum spacing given by the code is ito. Okay? D over 4 or 300 mm. Okay? Kung itong criteria. So, yung mas maliit, mas maliit sa kanila, yung gagamitin. Now, when Vs naman is lesser or equal to that value, the maximum spacing allowed is D over 2 lang or 600 millimeters. Okay? Now, we know that Vs is 96.33 kilonewtons and this value here is 187. So, itong case na to yung mangyayari. And therefore, the maximum spacing allowed by the code is 480 over 2 or D over 2. That is 240 millimeters or 600 mm. So, the smaller value um, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay. Now, na-check na natin yung maximum spacing allowed by the code. Uh, we will compare that to the required spacing na nakuha natin. Okay? So, the required spacing is mas maliit sa uh, maximum spacing allowed. So, we will use the smaller value. Okay? Therefore, use S as 215 millimeters. Okay? Round down tayo kasi sa inequality na to, the spacing must be lesser to this value. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-round up. Hindi siya pwedeng lumagpas. Okay? So, wala namang spacing na nakadecimal. No? So, round down to be safe. So, any value lesser than that value, okay rin. Or, but for economical reason, doon tayo sa pinakamalapit. Okay? So, uh, kunwari, ang lumagpas dito is 220. I mean, 250, 250. Then, compare that to the maximum 240. So, ang gagamitin natin is 240. Okay? Pag kunwari, mas malaki ito compare sa maximum. Okay? That's it for shear, no? Re a reinforced concrete beam with respect to shear. So, I hope you understand my presentation. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more uploads.